So, aside from being a uh, at-home do-it-yourself mechanic, I put this thing up here. I also used to be a wedding cake decorator for ten years, and so this is how the poor man makes his fucking banana bread: two cups of flour, two cups. Two cups. Right. Dry parts first. Shit in there. Don't forget to turn your oven on. 350. Use 50. Yeah, 350. Soda with a little bit of cardboard in it. That'll make it really tall. <clears throat> Some friggin' salt. That might be too much. Oh well. I got butter, not gonna put in yet. Brown sugar. Brown sugar. This looks like it's probably enough. Let's see. Says three quarters of a cup. This is what this looks like. This is a cup, by the way. Uh, let's see here. Hmm, that looks like three quarters of a cup. It's not packed, but a little more just to make sure. <laughs> I totally fucking wing it. Let me run bacon. Feel great, because. I want, I want all the women to be pissed. My wife doesn't care. She's easy going. Two eggs. Get the eggs. Ah, oh, so shit in the fridge. Oh yeah, I gotta mix together the, uh, do I first take it? Soda? Yeah, alright. So, let's mix it up. Mix it up, mix it up, mix it up. Oh, you know what I forgot? You know what I forgot? Secret ingredients. ground cinnamon and some nutmeg. Careful with nutmeg. We'll make that shit taste rancid. You'll have your own cinnamon. Yeah. It's kinda like that. Make that shit up. Ooh, it smells good. I'm trying to break up those chunks of sugar. Look at both down there anyway. But you're really trying to get like the powder and the salt. You always mix your dry ingredients together first. I do have a mixer, by the way, but this recipe is so easy. I also go crazy. Oh, did I forget baking, baking soda? Yes, I did. Baking soda. Urgh, old baking soda. I think I said a teaspoon, but whatever. I'll put it in a fucking tablespoon and be fine. Oh, that was baking powder. Oops. Did it say baking powder? No, I didn't say to put in baking powder. Oh well. See? But it says two eggs beaten. He's gonna bust out the ball. Alright, 
this might work out. One time I had it like really, really well. Yeah. Okay, maybe that's not working out so good. I was pretty sure one time I had like totally beat the fuck out of it. It might have been because the butter was basically melted. Okay, that didn't work out. I broke the shit out of the thing. I like to get all of the scrapings up as good as I can. Listen. Oh yeah. My fucking shitty ass bananas. I kept these from when I didn't eat them at work. I threw them in the freezer. Fuck them all up. This is gonna be gross. Usually I just like pop up the end and like, squeeze it out. Alright, I'm gonna have a lot of juice because there's a secret ingredient that I'm putting into this banana bread. And I'm just going to do this just to piss people off more because purists. I think you can just throw any shit you want into whatever you're making, you know. If you got a vegetable soup, nobody tells you what kind of vegetables to put in it. So if you got a banana bread, which is basically a, a, a sweet bread or, you know, no, no leavening agent, you can put anything you want. I got these fucking old plums. Gdoosh. Plums and banana bread. Who would have thunk? So now it's got lots of uh, good moisture in there. And that's gonna, that's gonna get it nice and hot here. Let me get all this so you can see all this hot action there. Oh uh, yeah. Oops. Yep, I'm a sloppy DIY mechanic. Yeah, and it totally smells like chemicals because I was just baking some parts in the oven like a couple hours ago. Ooh, but the color of that is sweet. I like it. I like it. I like it. I don't need to beat the hell out of it or anything because, frankly, chunks of butter will leave like little pockets inside there. Oh my god, it looks like fucking blueberries. Or blueberry, you know. Uh, it's got that shitty color. Eh, it's kind of gray. Yeah, it's kind of gray. A little scary looking. Hope I put enough sugar in it. Yeah, put in extra sugar. Okay. And, oops, you know what? I might have fucked up because I don't have any butter now to put on my pan. Shit. Alright, so, here's how PJ's gonna take care of that issue. He's gonna look, scour the fridge for me with some butter. If he doesn't, ah, oh, I got just about as good. Check this out. I got out of it. Luckily, I have a roommate who likes to hoard food. So I'll take that. Turn the pan. Check out the smegma out of it. Oh, that. It really stinks. Oof. It's gonna make my banana bread taste funny. Hope not. It's gonna taste funny anyway. So I'll just go like this. Get the pan. Uh, yep. Yeah. DIY home mechanic. That's how he makes fucking banana bread. Uh, yes. Butter and pan. Frankly, I don't like the idea of using pan because it's an aerosol spray can. It'll kill the earth some more. I know I do shit that probably destroys the earth, but at least I'm being thoughtful about it. Mm. It's probably not going to go up in the sides this much, but the fact that it's on the sides, it's going to melt down, and when it starts to crawl across the pan, it'll, it'll you know, do something different. It'll Make a little bit barrier, huge barrier. Now, when I was cake decorating, I worked in the bakery. They always had a lot of these things called bowl scraper Dawn products. They used to give them to us for free. We had fucking hundreds of them around. But that right there is how you get all the good shit out the bottom of your bowl. I'm just pull it over there.
gray, green, black, blue, and banana bread. <laughs> oh, yeah. I did put in two cups of flour, right? I don't know. I'll watch the video later and find out if I did or not. I <laughs> only put in one. That would be so funny. It looks like it's got enough girth to it, so. Look at that, you got your bowl almost completely fucking clean. Now you can bang it or drop it or do whatever. This right here really sunk, so whatever, I'm just gonna leave it like that. Throw it in. See? Oven. Yep. It smells a little bit like chemicals in there. Alright, we'll see how it turns out. In case some guys watching this and they've never baked before, this is how you toss a head in there for 25 minutes. I popped it. It's not usually a good thing. That means it's not done yet. Because there's still stuff on the knife. So, I'm gonna set it again for another. I think it needs like at least 12 more minutes. It's just a guess. I mean, these things are totally a guess. Usually like half hour or 35 minutes is what it takes for something this big. Alright, test it again. Whew. She's good. Dark like a freaking uh, like a brownie. But that should be pretty good. You don't usually cut it, but I'm really interested in trying it out, seeing if it tastes okay. All right, it didn't stick. Yeah. Oh yeah. All right. Let's see if it tastes poisonous or not. It's okay. It's not overly sweet. It doesn't taste like anything weird. It'll be alright with some butter. Alright. Success.